Hello guys, welcome back to the channel John Heat. So today we are going to learn about a very important topic in Streamlit. Okay, so those topic uh, that we are going to learn, okay, is the one that help us to organize our app, okay, while we are building. So how we can organize, how we can structure our app, okay. So in a in a way for it to look better and very well organized, okay. So I'm talking about how we can create a sidebar and a container in Streamlit. Okay, so a sidebar okay it is a fixed area on the left side of any app okay it is a, a ideal for displaying elements such as filters uh, settings or navigation controls without interfering with the main content in your app so in order to create a sidebar in streamlit we need to do something like this so first let me delete this thing okay which is from the previous app and save this let's create a sidebar okay so to create a sidebar in Streamlit, you just need to call something like this. Okay, let me call st dot sidebar. Okay, sidebar. So this way we create a sidebar. Okay, so in order to create a title in sidebar, we need to something like this. Something like this. Okay, sidebar dot title. Okay, open and close. What I'm going to open. So here I need to give it the title for my sidebar. Okay, let me see. Up sidebar. Up sidebar. Sorry. You can give any title that you wish, okay? So I just gave I gave this name so that uh, is the first one that came on my head, okay? If I refresh this, boom, as you can see now, sidebar is activated, okay? I can hide it and I can show it, okay? Even, for example, if I go for a mobile version, it usually starts like this, okay? I can just click this, boom, it's going to show my sidebar and I can hide it again. So let me go for the web version like this. Let me show my sidebar, okay? So a part of title, we can also add uh, things inside of sidebar. So in order to write anything inside of sidebar, you, you just need to something like this. st dot uh, sidebar always start with sidebar like this. Okay, dot write. Okay, so you need to start with sidebar so that you can understand. No, I need to write this thing inside of the sidebar. Okay, so when you write sidebar, is like it automatically activates the sidebar. Then you in front you just add whatever you wish. Okay, let's say st dot sidebar dot write write what okay use the options below use the options below save let me save this and if I come here if I refresh as you can see now I added something here inside of my sidebar okay so a part of this I can add also some elements inside of my sidebars elements such as okay let me show you I can add elements such as uh, I'm going to create a variable called username okay username so this username will be equal st dot sidebar okay sidebar dot text underscore input test input open and close so what I'm going to say so here inside you you need to do something like this okay let's give uh, for example enter your enter your name dot okay then after getting the name let's create some select button so let's say options option so this option can be for example st dot sidebar sidebar dot select bot okay select box select box select box so this select box uh, we can give options for example like uh, choose a cat category let's say something like, something like this okay choose a category choose a category and uh, let's give dot here okay let's give a list of a category so for example we can say like technology technology okay comma and uh, we can say also health Elf, comma and uh, just for the last one let's say finance finance okay perfect safe so let's say something also notify okay so this notify can be something like st dot sidebar sidebar dot dot what uh, checkbox let's use a checkbox check checkbox open and close what we can say and we can say for them enable enable notifications enable notifications safe after these things okay we can do something like this okay now first let's see what we have okay safe if i come here 
if I restart this or refresh, we can see, okay, we have one uh, input field, for example, here to enter the name, and we can choose a category, okay, inside of the things, and we can enable notification, okay, so in order for us to get those information, okay, we can do something like this, boom, I can come here, for example, uh, let's say that display the selected options, okay, let's say st.header, let's open and close, and let's say something like this, okay, let's use fstring, and we can say, for example, welcome, welcome, comma, welcome, who, uh, let's use the username, okay, the guy that we are going to get from here, let's welcome username, okay, perfect, welcome username, and we can write also some condition here, let's say, if username, okay, else, okay, it will come username, Okay, if there is a username, else we can say what? And uh, we can say something like this, okay? User. Oh, I think it's better to put user, something like this. And we come out. Uh, let's put some this exclamation here, okay? Boom, save. Now, if I come here, let's see what we have. We get something like this, okay? So if there is no username, it's gonna show like this, okay? Welcome. For example, if I enter here my name, Joao. If I click anywhere, boom, welcome João, okay? So if there is no username, boom, you will say welcome user, something like this, okay? So it's very cool, so this is how you can work with sidebars and to give you more options. But now let's get something like this, st.write, what we are gonna write, let's say, let's use fstring as always, and let's say you selected dot, let's give, and let's say, uh, options okay because we are going to get the options from there oh sorry option it's only singular safe now let's check what we got if i came here if i refresh welcome user okay no let's say João as always if i choose here health boom welcome you selected health okay if i choose technology you selected technology okay so this is how you can say you selected finance okay now let's see for this guy, so for that guy we can do something like this, okay? Like st dot, st dot, uh, dot what? So it's gonna be something like this, okay? Dot right, open and close, okay? Since it's open and close, let me copy all this thing. Just come here and boom, okay? What, let's say, okay, notifications. Let's say, notifications are Enable, okay, all enable notifications are enable dot okay and let me close this now let me remove this guys and let's say something like this if not if not if notify okay else what's gonna say it's gonna say notifications only okay notifications else notification are disabled are disabled okay safe now let's go there and check what we got if i come here if i refresh this boom, notifications are disabled okay if i enable this notifications are enabled i can remove boom so this is how you can use the sidebar so sidebar is very useful for configurations okay so even these days for those who are working a lot with uh, creating a, a AI agents, okay, they are using a lot of Streamly so that they can create some AI agents, okay, since Streamly is very used, uh, is very easy to create uh, uh, interface, okay, so Streamly right now is a very good option for that, for creating AI agents, okay, so now, good. Uh, apart of uh, sidebar, we can also work with container, okay? So a container is like, it's kind of any invisible, okay? Grouping elements that helps to extract your contents in a logical way, okay? So it is very useful for organizing different sections of our page, okay? So in order to use a container in, in Streamlit, we can do something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna come here, okay? I'm going to come here and... Uh, to use the container, we can do something like this, okay? Let me say, with, okay, with what? st dot container, this way, okay? Container, open and close, dot, boom. Here inside, we start writing our container, okay? We can say something like this, st dot sub 
subheader, subheader, open, close, let's say something that is okay, user profile, user profile, okay, save. Now, if I come here, if I refresh this, as you can see, user profile, okay, now, if I go back, okay, here inside again, and I can say, for example, I can create a column inside of a container, which is a very good thing for them. If I say call, okay, call what? Call comma, and uh, call two, okay? For them, this will be the call one for column one, and this will be for call two, so it can be equal uh, st dot columns, okay? Dot columns, open and close. So here I'm going to say how many columns I need to write. So I'm going to give give two since I gave it two variables okay so this will be the first column this is the second column so now in order to use this column I can say something like this okay with call one dot here inside okay oh, oh I put the wrong thing okay dot now whatever I will write here is gonna show inside of the column one for example we can say st dot text underscore input 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 we can open and here we can say for example okay uh, first name first first name save okay uh, blah blah okay. save if i come here if i refresh this guy boom as you can say use okay first name as you can say it's it just occupy only this area okay this area is kind of empty now i can come here I can do the same also no just let me copy this since it is almost like kind of the same thing and paste it i can say with call i'm going to change call to save what i can say st.input i can say for example last name okay last oh why i deleted name we can say last name save if i come here if i refresh boom as you can see first name last name so this is how Contain is very useful, okay? It helps you to organize your app, okay? In a very good way. Uh, now, if we see this in uh, app uh, mobile, okay? As you can see, it will show this way, okay? Now I can open my container. It's gonna show this, oh, my sidebar is gonna show this. And this is my container stuff, okay? This user profile, blah, blah, and so on. So apart of that, we can also add something like uh, this, okay? For example, SD dot text uh, underscore area open and close what we are gonna say let's say okay bio bio comma and uh, let's say something else okay tell us about tell us about you tell us about you okay about you no about yourself yourself your something is missing yours Tell us about yourself. Oh, oh. Tell us about uh, yourself. Okay. Save. And if I come here, if I refresh this guy, as you can see, I have it. Okay. Bio. Tell us about yourself. Now, this one, since it is not inside of any column, that's why it took the full space. Okay. This bio here. Okay. So now I can just come here and start telling about myself. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. So this is very useful also. So this is how you can create a container inside of a Streamlit application, okay? So apart of that also, you can organize like a multiple section using container in your app, okay? So for that, you can do something like this, okay? So I'm just going to copy this guy and come here. Boom, I will paste, okay? So, and after this, okay, I'm going to keep this subheader, okay? And uh, uh, let me just remove this guy. And you come here this input you can say like this okay for example uh, instead of this uh, right I can say for example let's say something like this okay right st dot right right what explore trending topics and insight okay explore explore trending topics and insights okay then after this, I can just create one kind of button. Okay, st dot button. Oh, st dot button. Open and close. What I can do? I can just read, read more. Okay, perfect. Save. And here also I can do kind of almost the same thing. Okay, 
Mm. A key uh, here, okay. I'm going to use remove this uh, username. Let's say okay, feature featured articles, okay. For example, if it's for example, if it's a blog, this app, okay, featured art, feature, uh, articles. Let me copy this guy and uh, come here, boom, paste. So I don't need this one, okay. I don't need this one, you blah blah, bye bye. But I need this test area. Come on, remove this. Okay, this is the first container. This is the second container. Come here and boom. Let me paste it. Okay, perfect. So now I can keep, uh, for example, subheader. I can say, for example, user feedback. Okay, user feedback. User feedback. So a part of user feedback, we can say as a text area. Mm, who's gonna go? So let me remove this guy. ST. Bye bye. Okay. And I need this guy. You come here, you can stay here. For example, here I can say, for example, I can write like a submit book. Okay, let's say submit, save. And here I can say something like, okay, leave your feedback. And let me write here inside. Leave your feedback. Re leave your feedback. Save now if i come here okay if i refresh this boom as you can see okay feature actual article so article will be here for example, i can if i click read more it, it will do something here and here can be for the feedback okay user feedback like leave your feedback and they submit okay so this is how you can use containers so container as i said okay is very really good to organize this stuff okay so by using sidebars and container okay effectively you can create a very well extracted and user friendly applications okay in streamlit and uh, so you can experiment experiment these tools okay to improve organizing your app for a better user uh, experience okay so for this video we are going to stay here so thanks for watching please give a like to this video and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video bye bye